Hey everyone, welcome back to Dragonfly Projects and Homestead. My name is Alex, and this is about to become my new maple syrup evaporator. If you've watched some of my more recent videos, I was completely and absolutely wrong. Spring is not around the corner, at least not for another week. It is absolutely freezing today. We're back in the minus 20 weathers, and there's a forecast for 20 centimeters of snow overnight, which is around eight inches. So winter is hanging on, which is perfect because it's giving me some time to get my evaporator ready. I'm gonna use a 55 gallon steel barrel and a kit you can purchase online to transform this into what they call a camp stove. Once it is modified as a camp stove, I will take some measurements and I'll figure out what size of pan I'm gonna purchase to put on top to evaporate the maple syrup. This is a kit that you can purchase online. It comes with a door, some legs, and a chimney flue. So you can attach a chimney to the steel drum. Now this steel drum, uh, it's a used one. It used to have uh, grape juice. And this one has a removable lid. So my thought was I'm going to use the removable side as the back side so that if something happens, I can always open it to either clean it up. Probably want to remove the tape so I don't burn it during the first burn. So it's just empty barrel. So if ever I want to clean something out, it's going to be a lot easier to deal with the side that doesn't have the door because this, this is cast iron and it's quite heavy. So I'd rather keep this nice and light. I'm trying to reattach it. There we go. So I'm just going to start with cleaning this off. The instructions are very simple. Basically, they say put the door on first. Once you're happy, trace it. Use a metal cutting tool of your choice. Cut it out. I did get a file so I can remove the burrs and sharp edges. Once that's done, figure out where you want the flue, which is the chimney attach the legs and do your first burn. They do recommend in the instructions to have at least two inches of sand at the bottom of the barrel. Um, the good thing is we are not lacking sand around here. The downside is currently it's covered in snow and it's frozen. So we'll see how it goes. I don't want anything to warp, but to be honest, this used barrel was $30 and I can get more if ever the thing, it, it wouldn't melt, but it might, I guess heat unevenly that might be their biggest concern but if ever it comes to it I can always replace a barrel or later on down the road add the scent. All right let's get started.
guys don't know, the cold is brutal for battery life. So I got my trusty Blue Eddy charging my main camera here. Looks like we had a visitor last night. Got some trails here. Looks like a dog. I know we have a cat that comes around once in a while. These ones look like a dog. Probably a neighbor's dog. Or you never know. Maybe someone's watching over us. All right. So this thing did not survive this winter. It was already cracked from yesterday. Not from yesterday, from uh, last winter. If you saw the uh, video I did when I went around the property to show you guys, it was cracked. And the ex-owner's engineering did not pass the test. The good news is, I need some metal as a heat shield for the stove in the garage. Now I have plenty. But the old chimney, somewhere here. Let's see if I can't find it and then throw it on. Because that's, um, that one there is seven inches, which is too big. We need the six inch stuff. All right, let's see if we can't find it. Don't like my chances. This is... Yeah, don't think it's gonna happen. It's freaking very. Oh, I see it. Yeah, that thing's buried. Okay. It's buried underneath there. I'm not gonna bother. The plan anyways was always to put a new chimney on. The single wall stuff. It's fairly cheap. It'd be much nicer. Be taller and I know it's gonna fit. So let's fire it up with no chimney for this time and see how it performs. The other good thing I like about the removable back is if I have to, I wanna build a big fire or something. I wanna clean it out. It's a lot easier that way. this All right, let's see what happens now. Seems like we're well underway, very happy with the result. You can see here, we're getting some discoloration. The paint will burn off as it gets nice and warm. This is the first time there's a fire in here. The only thing now I'm missing is a chimney. I'm also going to order the stainless steel pan that's gonna sit on top. It's gonna to be 24 inches uh, long by 18 inches wide and six inches deep. My goal is to have one big pan I'm going to cut a hole. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to fully seal it yet. 
I still haven't worked that out, but I want to have the coil that goes around the chimney. It's going to drip inside of the pan and it's going to continu continuously feed maple sap that gets preheated to keep the rolling boil and hopefully have a more efficient setup. And this year, 100% wood fired, no propane. Probably just a little bit of the stove inside of the house once I'm 98% of the way there because it's a lot easier to control the heat inside on a regular stove than on top of a fire. Spring is right around the corner. You can see behind me, this is where I have the biggest concentration of red maples. I will uh, soon tap the trees to hopefully extract the sap and get started on our wood fired maple sap evaporator. I am going to call this part one of the maple syrup evaporator. I have to go to the home hardware store, grab a few more supplies, chimney, chimney cap, copper tubing. I am going to order the stainless steel pan. Once all the supplies are in, I will finalize the evaporator for this year and I will make a second part at that time. If you've appreciated and liked this content, please like and subscribe. It helps us a ton. I go through all the comments. I try to answer as much as I can. I definitely read all the comments. Otherwise, I wish you guys a great day. Take care. Thanks for stopping. I'll see you in the next video.